Okay. okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Life with Feet. I have a special friend here who I just met, uh, Anne, who was also born without arms, from Canada. And I have heard about her story from like a decade ago. And I just met her and I was like almost starstruck. I'm like, oh, I saw you on camera on this video like 10 years ago and it inspired me to ride a bike. So uh, I have a different bike as a recumbent bike, but you have a beach cruiser. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and but we I both bought each other's bikes. Now we're gonna change <laughs> ideas where I might borrow her bike for a little, then we're mm -hmm. gonna borrow mine and we'll just try it out. Um, but I do have a question for you because one of our viewers recently asked the question about blood draws. As you know, when you get your blood drawn, when you go to the doctor's office, it usually comes from a vein in your arm. Now, I avoid blood draws like the plague because I not only am afraid of needles, but I do not like anything poking me. And uh, so I have to ask you, what do you do for blood draws so that I can make this easier? Well, Jessica, I share your fear of needles, <laughs> um, but um, I've had, had to get some blood work before. And um, so I don't know what wherever you are, you have to check with your doctor what the rules okay. are, but where I live, um, I had to have a doctor's note first from my doctor saying it was okay to take uh, blood from my foot. So they take it from the top of my foot. And then the other thing that I did just learning from bad experience was I made sure that I um, went and called the clinic beforehand and made an appointment and made sure that they had someone that had previously drawn uh, blood from the foot okay. before because I've had a few people that kind of botched my foot a little bit trying to get it in and they couldn't get in and then other tips I've just learned over the years I make sure I'm well hydrated before I go for a blood appointment and I have um, the nurses put a hot pack on the tops of my feet beforehand just to raise the vein Got some it. more and they usually have me in a sitting position by me or laying down position okay so they just yeah. take it out of the Whatever vein is kind of popping up the most, they take it out of the top of your foot. I try not to look. Yeah, <laughs> it's take best a deep breath. But yeah, after they put the elastic around your ankle and they've warmed up your foot, usually I mean, this one up here will pop up and they can usually get mm. enough blood out of there. As long as, you know, again, make sure you've asked and say, I want someone that has taken um, blood from the foot before and um, all nurses are supposed to be trained in that so some have experience doing it and some of them have just maybe seen it done before mm -hmm. and don't be surprised if all of a sudden they may want to bring in a person or two to watch I've had that as well so, <laughs> because it's you know a learning experience for them truly it must be yeah mm -hmm. well I guess that's better than getting an IV or having your blood drawn from your neck right it's very true okay and I mean it's not just people missing arms that end up getting um, blood taken from their foot it's people that have collapsed veins maybe drug users or other people have had to uh, people who had a lot chemo, of yeah. chemo therapy so there's other people that definitely fall into that category but for myself that was has been my experience with drawing blood from my foot and had some doctors send me for blood work and some just let let it slide which is nice so. well thank you Anne. and there you go there you have it for the viewer who asked the question how do you get your blood drawn when you don't have any arms or hands that's how it's done and for those who do have to have your blood drawn that way make sure you ask ahead of time if there's someone with experience use a hot pack and be well hydrated for the appointment. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe or go to patreon.com slash toe talks and subscribe.